Right across the board in Asia, it's all headed higher following a good session on Wall Street. Dow up, strongly up 1%, all the American markets up high and all the Asian markets riding high too. That is your business briefing. We'll reopen later. But right now in Asia, uh, investors are grappling with weakness in emerging markets. It's in financial markets. Well, Asia is having a much better day. The first day of gains across the board for Asia in 10 in a hub uh, for the latest on that. Mariko, this is why we're seeing markets in Asia on the up today. But for now on financial markets today, the only way is up. Investors are looking on the bright side and financial markets Asian shares are rising for a second day. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of a fallout for Hong Kong, slightly flat. Investors, they are flat today in Asia, apart from Hong Kong, up nearly half a percent. This all following declines on Tuesday. Stocks around the financial markets in Asia, well, a very different picture in Japan. The markets are higher thanks to the stronger earnings coming out the night before in the US, the third quarter. The share price uh, soared nearly 40. And for financial markets, focus is all on earnings now, with companies like Goldman Sachs disappointing, uh, and also other companies like Citigroup has dampened trade a little bit, as you can see in Asia, so far just slightly up. No relief yet for Jet Airways after it failed to get interim funding from its lenders. The airline's board is meeting right now to decide on the fate of the troubled carrier. The airline has more than $1.2 billion in debt and its pilots who've, who have news about Huawei and Google overnight on Wall Street on the Nasdaq. But let's look at the next screen. I want to point out the price of oil edging higher again today. More cameras, more power, more battery life, but is the... More cameras, more power, more battery life, but is the... More cameras, more power... More cameras, more power, more battery life, but is the... More cameras, more power, more battery life, but is the... More cameras, more power... More cameras, more power, more battery life, but is the... More cameras, more power, more battery life, but is the... More cameras, more power. Financial markets are mixed in Asia following a flat close on Wall Street with investors now looking ahead to central bank action first. This is the business briefing with me, Sally Bundock. The iPhone goes slightly and things are looking really strong in Asia. It's actually a trade deal between the US and financial markets. A mixed day emerging today in Asia as no big story still on any trade breakthrough with the US and China is moving those share markets higher just yet. So how are financial markets in Asia now, given the massive losses we saw on Wall Street on Tuesday? As you can see, uh, we're still seeing declines, but for some markets, they have parried their losses. Let's take a look at what's trending in business. Bloomberg is carrying an opinion piece from the former Bank of England governor, uh, Mervyn King. Uh, a supporter, a Brexit supporter, saying that Theresa May's deal is a betrayal of Britain and argues a second referendum is vital to escape from what he describes as our news briefing, because we're looking at that in a bit more detail. And this is South China Morning Post saying Hong Kong has held on to its title as the world's most visited city. It says, however, the territory's got a heavy reliance on tourists from mainland China which could suffer if the U.S. China uh, the, the U.S. market's all down heavily, and uh, this is the Asian key markets. But I want to show you the next board. We want to look at oil. Oil price down as well. Look at that. Oil down nearly two percent. Sixty almost sixty-one dollars a barrel. That's Brent. But oil's been rising steadily this week ahead of the OPEC meeting. That kicks off tomorrow. So we'll be right across that OPEC meeting for you here as well. Let's swiftly move on because we're, we're sort of running out of time. So this story was really interesting in The Vice about China forcing yeah, treatment the treatment of monitoring the, area. the people. Um, we're going to not talk about this telepathy story, so I'm going to I'm going to tweet it to those of you who are really <laughs> Sorry, interested in this one. Don't get uh, to because it. <laughs>
Thanks, Thank Nina. You. It's been great to have you with us on the briefing Thank on a regular you. basis. I hope you'll come back. We will see you again, I'm sure. The markets, it's a mixed picture emerging in Asia today, although you can see at the moment it looks like strong gains for Japan. Investors are in wait and see mode, though, as they keep a close eye on the trade talks between China and the US. And for financial markets in Asia today, we are seeing a recovery from Monday's falls. The pound is slightly up at the moment versus the dollar as investors now turn their attention. As far as markets are concerned, you can see a mixed picture in Asia. The pound is jumping on news of a possible Brexit deal. Japan has said its economy contracted by 1.2% in the last quarter. It's flat in Tokyo. Oil has slumped to an eight-month low. And on financial markets, it's a mixed picture emerging in Asia after the dramatic swings that marked last week. They seem to have abated for now, but investors... So voters in Latin America's biggest economy have chosen Jair Bolsonaro as their new president. He secured... And for financial markets, what a change. Look at the US. It was a bounce back on Wall Street, but how long? So how are financial markets in Asia now, given the massive losses we saw on Wall Street on Tuesday? As you can see, uh, we're still seeing declines, but for some markets, they have parried their losses. Let's take a look at what's trending in business. Bloomberg is carrying an opinion piece from the, the US markets all down heavily. And uh, this is the Asian key markets. But I want to show you the next board. We want to look at oil. Oil price down as well. Look at that. Oil down nearly 2%. 60, almost $61 a barrel. That's Brent. But oil's been rising steadily this week ahead of the OPEC meeting. That kicks off tomorrow. So we'll be right across that OPEC meeting for you here as well.